This is why the Celtics will win the next NBA championship. The Boston Celtics have been itching for an NBA title for ages now, and with the fresh faces they brought in over the summer, there's a buzz that this could finally be their year in 2023 to 24. They've snagged Kristaps Porzingis and Drew Holiday, both top-tier players, adding to a lineup already stacked with talent like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, not to mention solid contributors like Al Horford and Derek White. It's safe to say the Celtics have more depth and firepower than they've had in ages. Sure, they look great on paper, but as they say, the game's played on the court. It's all about proving themselves when the pressure's on. If they do clinch Banner 18 this season, you can bet these new additions will have played a big part in making it happen. And this is why the Celtics will win the NBA championship. Let's play full court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics on and off the court. The Celtics keep the points flowing even when the threes don't connect. Last season, the Celtics ran into trouble by relying too much on three-pointers. So when those shots weren't dropping like they hoped, they struggled to put up points in other ways. Remember how evident this was in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Heat? In those four losses, their three-point shooting percentages were all over their place. 34.5%, 28.6%, 26.2%, 21.4%. But this season, things are looking up. With Porzingis in the mix, the Celtics have a new weapon against inconsistent shooting. He's not your typical center. He's got some serious skills in the low post. It's not every day you see a big man bullying his way around the basket like he does. Expect him to snag plenty of offensive rebounds and rack up those second-chance points. Boston is dominating from downtown this postseason outscoring their opponents by a whopping 9.9 points per game from beyond the arc. That means they're sinking over three more triples per night than their rivals. A crazy advantage considering how crucial those shots are. And it doesn't stop there. They're also leading the playoffs in outscoring opponents by 4.1 points per game at the rim and 6.1 points per game from the free throw line. Brad Stevens' Celtics are on fire hitting an NBA leading 63.2% of their field goals in the paint and boasting a flawless 6-0 record on the road this postseason. Not to mention, they're topping the charts in true shooting percentage at a staggering 60%. But wait, there's more. Their defense is just as impressive. They're limiting opponents to a mere 14.5 free throws per 100 shots, potentially setting a new record for the lowest opponent free throw rate in NBA postseason history. Plus, they're snatching up defensive rebounds like nobody's business with a stellar 77% defensive rebounding percentage and keeping opponents to just 8.3 second-chance points per game. With stats like these, the Celtics are poised to steamroll the Mavericks and cement their place among the NBA's all-time great teams. Jason Tatum, the front-runner for NBA Finals MVP, is shining bright, leading the charge as the Celtics tear through the Eastern Conference playoffs. But beyond just the scoring numbers, which are undeniably impressive, Tatum's poised to clinch his first NBA championship because he's mastered the art of dissecting NBA playoff defenses. Standing tall at six feet nine, he honed his basketball IQ under Mazzola's guidance. And it's paying off big time this postseason. Tatum's handling double teams like a pro and dishing out assists at a rate of 5.9 per game, showcasing his growth and adaptability on the court, the Celtics don't necessarily need Tatum to be a top MVP candidate to win the NBA Finals. There's enough talent on this roster, but the chances of the Celtics reaching their ultimate goal would definitely increase if Tatum hits another gear. Tatum made serious waves last season, making Celtics history by averaging over 30 points per game for the first time ever. With stats like 30.1 points, 8.8 rebounds, and 4.6 assists per game, He's already a force to be reckoned with, but if he can bump those assist numbers up to six or seven per game while maintaining his scoring and rebounding prowess, he'll have a solid shot at snagging the MVP title. Last season, we saw Tatum taking on more playmaking responsibilities, often operating as a point forward. Expect to see even more of that this year as he hones his skills in that department. There's still plenty of room for growth, especially in his playmaking abilities and that's where he can really take his game to the next level. Porzingis potentially returning from injury could be a real game-changer for the Celtics. 
the seven-footer hasn't appeared in a game since sustaining a strained left calf in Game 4 of Boston's first-round playoff series against Miami on April 29th. But 4-1 victories over the Heat in Cleveland in the second round, followed by a 4-0 sweep of Indiana in the Eastern Conference Finals, have given the Latvian extended recovery time. There's no doubt about Porzingis' skills on both offense and defense. He's coming off a stellar season where he averaged a career-high 23.5 points per game and knocked down threes at a solid 38.5% rate. Plus, his towering 7'3 frame makes him a formidable presence in the paint, blocking an average of 1.8 shots per game throughout his career. Having such talented teammates like Tatum and Brown will only work to Porzingis' advantage. With defenses focused on containing the Celtics' dynamic duo, Porzingis will likely find himself with plenty of open looks, especially from beyond the arc. It's a recipe for success for both him and the team. A bench player solidifies their spot in the regular rotation. The Celtics need more firepower off the bench. That means having at least one bench player step up big time and earn their stripes in this NBA Finals. The improvement from Hauser, Cornett, and Pritchard, but most notably Pritchard this year, has been massive. Even from the beginning of the year, all of them have gotten so much better. Maz has clearly done a great job coaching them up. It all comes from the top down. You see the stars and starters locked into Joe's scheme, and they're willing to sacrifice to make the team better. You see Joe actively still coaching the second and third stringers as if they were starters in blowouts. You see everyone actively celebrating each other's successes. Everyone knows that they have to give up a little personal glory for the good of the team, and now they're all benefiting from it. The bench knows how important they are and have played crucial minutes. Just a great mentality and team all around. Plus, Pritchard and Hauser have definitely grown and improved. Cornett has solidified himself in his role, and we have great energy guys who leave it all on the floor whenever their number is called. Being an NBA player comes with a unique responsibility. You're not just playing for yourself, you're playing for millions of fans. When you're on top of your game, the bond between player and fan is something truly special. But when things go south, that relationship can turn sour, and it's tough for everyone involved. That's why this Celtics team needs to go all the way. They're not just any team, they're something special. Sure, there are other teams with a lot invested in winning, like the Clippers and Suns, but they've got a lot of uncertainties to overcome. All right, if the Celtics want to snatch that NBA championship trophy, they've got to bring their A game. First off, staying healthy is crucial. No injuries sidelining key players, please. Then they've got to dial in their chemistry, knowing each other's moves like the back of their hands. Oh, and they've got to be clutch when it counts. I'm talking buzzer beaters and game-winning plays. But it's not just about offense. Defense wins championships, right? So they've got to lock it down on that end of the court. Smothering defense, blocking shots, and grabbing rebounds like their lives depend on it. And let's not forget about the mental game. They've got to stay cool under pressure, shrug off setbacks, and keep their heads in the game no matter what. Lastly, a little luck never hurts. Sometimes you need the ball to bounce your way or for a few calls to go your way. It's all part of the game. Put it all together. Health, chemistry, clutch plays, defense, mental toughness, and a sprinkle of luck, and you've got yourself a recipe for an NBA championship. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us. Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any topics you would like to see on this channel full court. Before we end this video, are you ready to showcase your love for the game and make a statement with premium merch? At Full Court, we believe basketball is more than just a game. It's part of our culture and identity. That's why we've curated a collection of merch that captures the essence of your favorite sports teams and players to celebrate the memories that unite us. And here's the best part. Full Court offers free worldwide shipping. No matter where you are, you can join our global community and showcase your passion for basketball. Visit our website, letsplayfullcourt.com, and explore our merch. You can also find a link below this video in the description.